Peace One Day uh, began in 1998. Um, I was concerned about what was going on in the world, the sort of starvation and destruction, and all of the kinds of things that I see in the news every day, and I wanted to do something about it. So I decided to make a film about peace. Then I realised there was no day of peace. Um, so I decided that I would document a journey to try and establish the first ever peace day with a fixed calendar date, the 21st September. And uh, that journey, of course, took me all over the world. And I'm delighted that the member states of the United Nations voted unanimously for that day. Annual day separate from politics and religion, a day when every human being on earth can become involved in the peace process. You know, to obviously have this opportunity to be here in Northern Ireland and, and sort of, you know, open the London 2012 Festival is a, is a real dream come true and it's, and it's a great honour and to be in Derry, London Derry, well, you know, it couldn't get any better. The show is, is the opening of the festival but it also marks a three month countdown to Global Truce, the 21st of September, where we hope to see the largest reduction of violence ever recorded and the largest gathering of individuals in the name of peace. So the city and the location and everything that that show represents is much more than music. You know, it really is about engaging and inspiring the international community and therefore what an incredible place to be doing that from. It, it's gathered a lot of momentum internationally. So this show, you know, is a, is a real kind of call to action. It's a stepping stone to a moment that I hope for the generations, the new generation of young people, it will inspire and empower them to be the driving force behind the vision of a united and sustainable world. So this is a serious show. It's going to be fun, it's going to be engaging. People have a great time with incredible artists like Pixie Lark and Amel LeMay and Newton Faulkner and the Gilly Marts and Wonder Villains, you know, and incredible video statements and hosted by Jude Law and a massive firework display. But it's what it represents, it's what it means, it's what London 2012 stands for. It's about hope, it's about a world coming together and what better better city in the world to be sending that message out than Derry, London, Derry. I love it. It's going to be amazing.